Welcome to another edition of How to Pass a Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. We are working on math.4.oa.3.5, which is lesson six. We're working on number patterns today, y'all, so let me teach you. Whoop! The first number in a pattern is eight. The pattern follows the rule add seven. What are the next three numbers in the pattern? All right, so the first number in the pattern is eight. Okay, the rule is add seven. I need to find the next three numbers. So eight plus seven is 15. 15 plus seven, 22. 22 plus seven is 29. All right, 15, 22, 29. Don't put your work in the box. All you put into the box is your answer. Uh, Ms. McCarthy, you're needed for example two. Coming! I'm here, sorry. Just drinking some water. The first number in the pattern is one. The pattern follows the rule multiply by two. What are the next four numbers in the pattern? I'm gonna underline that question because that's what it's asking me to do, find the next four numbers in the pattern. So I'm going to show my work over here. It's multiple choice. I'm just going to select the answer that matches my work. All right, the first number in the pattern is one. And I need to find the next four numbers. Okay, multiplying by two. So one times two equals two. Two times two equals four. Four times two equals eight. Eight times two equals 16. All right, so I'm looking for two, four, not six, eight. Two, four, eight, 16. Two, four, eight, 16 is, I'm about to mark that wrong. Yes, that is my answer. Two, three, four, five, nope. Two, four, six, eight, nope. Two, four, eight, 12, nope. That one matches my work. Three. The first number, the first number number, oops, that's a typo. I need to fix that one. The first number in, oh my goodness. The first number in a pattern is 400. The pattern follows the rule divide by two. So the first number is 400, it follows the rule divide by two. Place the numbers in the correct order to represent the pattern. So, I know I'm starting with 400, so really I'm taking this guy and I'm going doo -doo 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 -doo, bloop, dragging it, because this is a grid response, grid item, sorry. Graphic response item display. This is how you kind of work it on the computer, but for a paper-based test, showing you something similar to what they would have you do. So, 400. And I need to find the next one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And each time I'm dividing by two, so 400 cut in half would be 200. 200 cut in half would be 100. 100 cut in half would be 50. And 50 cut in half, I don't know what sign that was. Or over here, I'm getting sloppy. Getting sloppy, McCarthy. 50 cut in half would be 25. So I just need to take these numbers. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, huh. Okay, take these numbers and plug them in. So 200, there's 200. Bloop. 100, 100. Drop it. 
50. That one's easy. Bloop. 25. Bloop. And that's your answer. We are on example four. The first number in a pattern is 48. The pattern follows the rules subtract 8. Complete the table to show the next three numbers in the pattern. So I have the number 48. My rule is subtract 8. I need the next three numbers. So 48. Boom, boom, boom. 48 minus 8 would be 40. 40 minus 8 would be 32, 32 minus 8. Maybe you don't know right away, so you need to come down here and just write it out. So 2 minus 8, I can't do that, so I need to regroup. That becomes 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 2 minus nothing is 24. So there you go. And now I just plug these into my table item. Don't leave them hanging out here. They got to go in here. 40, 32, 24, that's exactly. You have made it to example five. You accepted the challenge. Okay, here is example five. A pattern is shown. Describe how the number of total squares, number of total squares, and each pattern is related to the terms number. So let's look at this baby. Term one has one square. Term two has three squares. Term three has one, two, three, four, five, six squares. And term four has four, plus three is seven, plus two is nine, plus one is 10 squares. So let's see if we can figure out the pattern. From term one to term two, we're increasing by two squares. From term three to term six, we're increasing by three squares. From term three to term four, we're increasing by four squares. Did you catch it? Okay, so each time you move to the next term, you have to add whatever the term number is. So here we took one, we knew we were moving to term two, so we added two to get three. Here we took our three, we're going to term three, so we're gonna add three to get six. And here in our previous term, we have six plus the four equals 10. So now we need to describe how we, I just described it, but we're going to write it for, um, we're going to write it down within this box. Describe how the number of squares in each term of the pattern is related to the term's number. So here we go. You must take the previous term total and add the term number to get the total of the next terms squares. Okay. <clears throat> Let me write an example. For example, term four has ten squares. Gotta stay in the box. Don't go outside of it. 
For example, term 4 has 10 squares. To find the next term, add 5. I'm going to have to leave it there because I can't go outside the box, so add 5. Let's see if this makes sense. You must take the previous term total, previous terms total, and add the term number total, I'm sorry, and add the term number to get the total of the next term. So you take 3, then you add 4, because that's the term's total, to get 10. For example, term 4 has 10 squares. To find the next term, add 5. Alright guys, you know I can't leave you without some words to motivate and inspire you. Today's message is be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. This one took me a while to understand, but you know, you just, you were made to be you. You have to be you. Don't copy what other people are doing. You know, unless you're seeing that, you know, somebody's studying and you're like, oh, that's a good idea, I should study. But don't try to just imitate somebody else. You need to be who you are, okay? You were made to be you. You have these gifts and you have talents that you have and brought into this world with and you need to use them. So if you're silly, be silly. Me, I'm silly. I'm a little crazy and wacky sometimes. That's who I am, okay? That's how I teach. Y'all know this, you've seen me. So you need to be you. Start being you. I know it's hard in school these days to be yourself, but you gotta work on that. You need to know that that's important, that the world needs you to be yourself.